Welcome back to the Engineering Workshop. I'm Hunter White. Today we're going to finish this gorgeous miter saw station. Thanks for watching. In the final installment of this build series, we're going to add oak trim, complete the dust hood with polycarbonate doors, install cabinet doors on the support benches also with polycarbonate, install universal T-track in the support benches for a stop block. We'll run integrated power with surge protectors, run 4-inch hosing for the dust collection system, program and install all the IVAC Pro automatic dust collection system components, and install smart lights. For the trim pieces on the miter stand side, I cut a 45 degree bevel on the outward side and then for this side I cut a 25 degree bevel here and then a 45 degree bevel on the end side so that when this piece is glued up and assembled I have a relief here so that the drawers won't catch on this back piece because this is half inch plywood and this is three quarter inch trim. So just wanted to give a little bit of relief and point that out. The next step is to make all the cabinet doors for the support benches. the polycarbonate in place in the bottom of the cabinet doors. I'm drilling a one inch hole with a Forstner bit, one sixteenth of an inch, inch deep, and that will hold this washer in a little recess right there. And it's even got a little pilot hole for the screw. I'll put these one inch washers in these little recesses and then screw them in and that will hold the polycarbonate in place. Okay, so how I'm assembling the door frames as I built this 90 degree jig and I've got the sides and the top and bottom pieces. I'm gluing and adding a biscuit joint to this 45 degree miter and then assembling them in this jig, which is pretty tight. Okay, like that. And then a clamp here, kind of hold it all together. Add a screw in the pocket, and then I'm even using a nail gun to go here and here. So why so many attachment techniques? I did this the first time and it was a nightmare. Everything was still loose, so this is not the best way to build a drawer I'm figuring out, or a cabinet door I'm figuring out, but uh, live and learn it is what it is.
catch debris from going down into the dust collection system, I'm using this piece of expanded aluminum. It's going to go over top of this four inch coupling that will go on the bottom of the dust trap underneath the miter saw stick. Here you can see I'm cutting a hose big enough for the dust right quick change handle. This is how I'm going to hook up the dust collection to uh, this miter saw station. I'm going to mount a uh, mountable dust coupler on the inside of that bench uh, where the framing is and then I'll be able to use that quick change handle to plug in the dust collector to the bench powering the whole system. To automate my dust collection system, I'm using three components from the IVAC automated dust control ecosystem. The IVAC Pro Tool Plus, which will sense when the tool is turned on by detecting the amperage going through the power cable. The IVAC Pro Blast Gate, which automatically opens the blast gate when the tool sensor is triggered. And the IVAC Pro Switch, which powers on the dust collector five seconds after the tool sensor detects the tool is being turned on. To program these components, you have to set the system address and the tool address. The system address delineates which dust collector you want to use. For one dust collector, use system A. You can add up to eight tools to system A, which are set by the tool addresses. To program the system address and the tool address, flip the switches inside the components that correspond to the address you're trying to set. So for my miter station, I'm setting up system A, tool one. For the IVAC Pro Tool Plus, I'm setting it to System A, which is leaving the first two switches in the off position, and I'm setting it to Tool 1 by switching the fourth switch to on. I repeat these steps for the second component, the IVAC Pro Blast Gate, setting the system address to A and the tool address to Tool 1. The IVAC Pro switch is a little different in that it doesn't have any tool addresses, just system addresses. I set this to System A, which is the default setting, by ensuring that the first two switches are set to off. Switches 5 and 6 change the turn off setting on the dust collector from 0 seconds up to 45 seconds. I left this also on the default setting, turning off the dust collector after 5 seconds after the tool is shut off. All right, so my plan for the smart light setup is to use these smart lights in parallel to go to the right bench here, and this one to go to this left bench over here. And then I think what I'll do is I'll loop them around and come up and put the smart lighting into the miter saw dust hood. This will get plugged in underneath the miter saw, and then this little switch will probably get mounted up like this so I have easy access to it. I'm gonna use either these uh, cable clamps to try to hold this in place with screws or use these little clamps that came with a smart lighting setup um, and then just screw in. So let's get after it and see how it works.